we collected data from 2005 through 2013 on age, race, PSA, Gleason score, um, T stage, and presence or absence of metastatic disease. The data analyzed came from 87,500 men during the study period, and we looked at the trends um, in terms of prostate cancer specific risk or of um, characteristics um, using linear regression grouped into six month intervals. Our results prior to 2011 there was a slow but significant decline in the number of men diagnosed with um, prostate cancer with PSA uh, greater than 10. After 2011 this um, percentage increased at 3.0% per year from 2011 through 2013. This change was also observed um, in men who were older than the age of 70, or um, older than the age of 75, where this rate almost doubled the rate of men of all ages during that same time period. The PSA, however, doesn't necessarily tell the full story. We also classified men into their respective NCCN risk categories, and we observed that the uh, percentage of men who were diagnosed with prostate cancer, intermediate risk or higher prostate cancer, increased at 2.9 percent per year after 2011. Based on estimates of the number of men who will be diagnosed with prostate cancer in 2014, which is 233,000 men according to SEER, we estimated that approximately 14,000 men would be diagnosed with higher risk prostate cancer based on the trend that we observed in this data. Based on the relative survival of men with low intermediate and high risk prostate cancer, we predicted that there may be an increase in the number of deaths due to prostate cancer at 10 years of approximately 1,400 men if the trend that we observed um, is, is uh, true.